welcome you once again to come here um, and to testify God's goodness. Can you please tell us what has brought you a few years back to receive prayer for your son at the Anointing Water prayer line? Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We serve a living God. No matter what level of faith you are in, whatever the situation that you have, whatever it is, we serve a living God. You are special as one of our brothers have mentioned in the morning. You are very special. You have the gift of faith. Faith is not plucked out of a tree, nor come from anywhere else. But the hand of God, hold on to your heart. That is why you have faith. We have challenges. We have challenges. Whatever the challenges, we may have challenges till we die. That doesn't matter. We serve a living God. Here we have my son. A few years ago, my wife was diagnosed barren. Medical doctors revealed that she can no longer bear a son or bear a child. I was doing my surgical training in one of Australia's finest hospitals in southern Australia. One of the largest hospitals in southern hemisphere. During those years, I had so much challenges in my, in my career. But I, I had faith, little faith that kept me going, kept me praying. But then eventually, I kept praying and the Lord revealed to me in a dream... Of a, of a son, I told my wife and encouraged her. Then a few years later, in 2006, he was born. When he was born, then more challenges. You see, these, these things never end. We have to be real. This is the real deal. When we come to God, the more you come grow closer to God, the steeper of the battle, the steeper of the opposition. This is real. My only son, you know... You know, some, some of us who are wanting to have more family, I, I'm one of them, wanting to have at least, you know, more. But I'm pretty content with what I have right now. Just because of the hand of God has put peace in my heart. Now, he has, ever since he was born, suffering from asthma, diagnosed asthma from a private hospital, going from doctors to doctors of visits. More, the biggest trouble is at night. Being a believer, having someone sick in your family, praying. Let's stirs up lots of uh, uh, you know, uh, power in you to seek God the more. And ever since, he's been having bad asthma. At night, I had to wake up and give him the medication with all sorts of gadgets the doctor's going to give to try and help his uh, breathing. And, uh, that has really and uh, before you continue, uh, so he was born and diagnosed with asthma when he was born. Is that, is that correct? That is correct. So when you guys came here, approximately how old was he when you guys came here to the prayer line? Six. Six years old. And as we saw the video, he was receiving uh, the anointing water. And after we re he received the anointing water, what happened when you guys went back home? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Complete healing. Period. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. And we see that he is with us right now. So can you please, uh, before we continue, uh, tell us who is along with you? What are their names? Here's my wife, uh, Saini Uluimbao. This is Genesis Uluimbao. This is Ezekiel Uluimbao. And how old is Genesis now? He is eight now. He is eight years old. So it has been two years since that prayer line that he's received prayer. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. And has he used a nebulizer, any type of medication since then, those two years? Praise the Lord. It's all gone. It's, we have done the equipment. We, we didn't say, sorry doctors, but just say, thank you, Lord. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. So now before, uh, when he had asthma, he wasn't able to uh, play with the other kids, go running, nothing like that. What's different now, now that he ha has received healing, uh, what's his life like now? As a very um, active person, myself, an outdoor individual, I always like my, my, my children to also follow that direction, to be a little bit more active. But my child was often blocked out because of the, the you know, lethargic, lethargic uh, you know, weakness that is so overpowered with, due to the sickness. So often very weak. Now he's uh, very uh, rejuvenated and uh, very, very active in his uh, school. Wow, come on, give him a hand of applause. And Genesis, could you do us a favor? Could you walk down these stairs, go to that aisle, run, and then come back just to show us what you can do? Come on. Give him a hand of applause, you guys, as he runs. Run, run, run. Come on. 
and then come back. Come back. Awesome. Come on. Praise the Lord, you guys. Awesome, Genesis. That's amazing where someone that was born and diagnosed with asthma and God completely removed that in the name of Jesus where they can be a complete child, where they can have fun and run. There's no limitations on them anymore. Amen? Now that's an amazing God that we serve. Amen? Thank you so much, Genesis. Now also, uh, you guys came, if you guys can switch sides real fast. And here is your wife that has an amazing testimony for us. You guys also came here in 2013, and you, had a, you were diagnosed. Uh, can you please tell us about that diagnosis and why you came personally to receive prayer in 2013? Uh, thank you. Amen. Um, I came here in 2013 because I was diagnosed with severe um, tuberculosis. And um, I came in 2013 to receive mass prayer and um, anointing water to receive total healing from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And can you please tell us, how did this disease affect your personal life? What did it do? What did it affect? It affected me in so many ways. My energy was just drained out of me. I couldn't do anything. I didn't feel like, you know, being with anyone. I didn't, I didn't even have um, energy to play with my kids or be with my husband or even to cook. The simple things in life, was, I was, it was just unable to do, even climbing up a stairway. And how did it affect you financially? Um, financially, uh, you know, c along with the sickness, with the thorn in my flesh, came the, me the climbing... Uh, medical bills, um, and you know we kept receiving medical bills one after the other, worth uh, two thousand over two thousand dollars worth of medical bills, and uh, we even received letters from you know the collection people to come and collect our debt, and then uh, praise be to God, my husband wrote a letter to the hospital, and um, you know bef like just like everything else in our lives, we put it before God. We, um, as husband and wife, we laid hands on it and we prayed about it, and we came in one accord and believing that God would take care of our situation. And then, you know, just a little while later, we received a letter from the hospital saying that, um, saying that our debts, it's, they've taken care of our debts 100% percentage of uh, financial assistance. Wow, come on. And this was after you received a prayer at the prayer line? Yes. yes. Okay. And because of this disease, did it affect your work? Did it, what happened when it came to your work and your job position? Well, when, when I was diagnosed with TB, um, I lost my job. And with the job came uh, the house that we were, we were in. We were, it was provided by the employer that I worked for. So we, had, we lost that as well. And praise be to God that the county that we, we lived in, they provided us a house because we had to go into isolation. <clears throat> had to go into isolation because of my tuberculosis. Um, yeah. And after you received, uh, so what you're saying is that when you had the uh, d diagnosis of TB disease, uh, you were caused to be isolated due to the fact of your, um, you weren't able to affect anybody else. And you also lost your job because of it. Yes, I lost my job because of it. We lost, lost the home that we were living in. And praise be to God that, you know, he provided us another home to live in rent free during the period that I was in isolation. And can you tell us, right after you received prayer, uh, what happened to your job position because you lost it? Did anything happen there? After the prayer that we, when we came here for prayer, um, even when, when we made the decision to come to Pasco, um, you know, to receive the anointing water, I could feel within me that I was being healed. Everything that was within me and in me knew that I was being healed. <clears throat> even though the physical said otherwise, I knew within me that my healing had already taken place. Amen, amen. And can you confirm that after you receive that prayer that you are no longer diagnosed with TB disease? That's right. And when we went back and because I wasn't able to go, you know, into public places, the nurse came home to take a look at me on a daily basis. Um, and so when she came, she told me, you know, it's so severe that, you know, they, they took tests for my cultures that it would take up to six months for them to come back negative. But praise be to God, within a week, it came back negative. Come on. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing your amazing testimonies with the family. And can you please tell those that are here or those that are watching on live stream that if they're in a similar situation, maybe it's their child that they're hoping for, or maybe they're in their own type of situation with sickness, what would you advise and tell them? 
I would say that, you know, if whatever challenges you're going through is continue on believing in God, having faith in God, and, and, and just believe in God that he will take care of, maybe not now, but he is sure. Our, our God is a truthful God, and he is sure, and his promise is true. Amen. Amen, amen.